Next, we're going to talk about how to lay out a developed cube pattern, like this one. This cube pattern that's cut out of 3 16 inch black foam core, for contrast, um, is a 4 inch cube pattern, which means that each of these squares is 4 by 4 inches. It's bevel cut, which means the edge has a little angle cut on it that's uh, exactly 45 degrees so that we can fold it up like this. And it's a very common development of the cube because it's the T shape, which means that it has a long section here and then a, a shorter section here that's perpendicular. And everything here has to be square, perpendicular, and parallel to everything else in order for this to fold up and become a tight closed box, which is the goal of this exercise. So to do that, we have to start with a square sheet. And in this case, I'm going to use my straight edge ruler and my triangle square to make the whole thing square. And basically what I'm going to do is trust that one of these edges is nice and straight. And this edge right here, when I put my ruler on it, looks nice and straight to me. So I'm going to start with that edge. I'm going to place my ruler on the edge and make sure that it's nice and right on that line of the sheet. And I'm going to bring my triangle down like this, probably about a ruler's width plus or minus, and I'm going to hold it down nice and tight. And I'm going to take my ruler like this and put it over here next to this without moving my hand a whole bunch. And I'm going to look at that and I'm going to notice that this is not quite square, meaning that the ruler is closer to this end of the sheet down here than it is to this end of the sheet down here. And that means that I need to cut it nice and square. And to do that, I'm going to repeat that process because I just moved my hands. I'm going to transfer my, my holding to my ruler now and get my square out of the way. And I'm going to draw this line so that I know that it's nice and accurate. Now that I have a line struck, I'm going to pull the sheet down here like this. I'm going to put my straight edge right on that line right where I want it. And I'm going to get my number 11 X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut that nice and parallel or square. What I'm trying to do with my knife is keep my angle nice and low, which we'll talk about more in detail in just a few minutes. And I'm trying to cut through this in one shot so that I know that I don't have to come back and make multiple passes that can mess up the, uh, the surface of my foam core. And there I've got a nice clean cut. I have no popcorn or anything looking weird on the inside of my foam core. So now I can trust that this corner right here is square, and I'm going to put a little mark on there to remind me of that that's just the inside of the corner like that. So I've drawn a little square in there. But tells me that's the square side. 